we're going to create a skateboard wheel that looks like this. We're going to learn two tools. We're going to learn the mirror tool and revolve tool. So let's start a new sketch. Create document. Skateboard wheel. Create public document. And this particular drawing is in inches, so we'll go up here to workspace units. Make sure that says inches. And normally we work in millimeters because that's what the 3D printer prints in. This is just an exercise. We're not actually going to print this. We're just practicing the learning on shape. So click to inch, green check mark to accept those options. Click on the front plane and sketch. Now we can click front to turn that that way or you can press N which is view normal to so it turns whatever plane you've selected it faces it right straight at you so you can see it. So we're going to draw the sketch you see on your worksheet and we're not going to start at the origin we're going to start up here just a little bit and we're just estimating. It doesn't have to be exact. I'm just kind of estimating here. And I want this. I want this line to stop right even with that. So if I hover here first, it'll snap in the right space. Okay. So that's my basic shape. Now I'm going to dimension going off your worksheet. This top one is one inch. This angle here is 45 degrees. This distance here is 0.276. This distance is 0.2. And this little from this line to this line, this this space here is actually 0.06. And there's a fillet right here. This is going to be a skateboard wheel. So this is curved, and I've already practiced this. So the numbers in there, it's 0.15 inches, and I like to move my dimensions off of my shape so you can see the shape better. I have most of the basic shape and dimensions, but you notice the lines are not all black. That means it's not fully constrained. Okay, So I do know the overall dimension of the wheel is, is 2.75. So instead of having to calculate how far this is away from the origin, how far this line is right here, and how big this is, here's an easier way to dimension. I'm going to create a construction line which will be the axis of the wheel. Okay, hit escape to get out of that tool. So it, once this wheel is around here, we revolve it in a minute, this would be where the axle for the, the wheel would be. So what I'm going to do is dimension this line. I'm going to click on the center, which would give me the line, the distance from here to the center. But I'm going to continue down below the center, and now it gives me dimension as if this, this line is the middle, and, and it shows me down here, this is how big my wheel would be. My full diameter of my wheel is 2.75. So it automatically puts this line the right distance from this center line with me just putting the overall dimension there, which is nice. I also know this line is exactly 0.866, which is uh, 22 millimeters. That's the size of the bearing. Now you notice everything is constrained. It's all black. Everything's perfect. I'm going to mirror this in a second. So really all I did here is create half of the wheel shape. So before I mirror it, I'm going to erase this line and 
I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to mirror, right? Here's my mirror tool. I'm going to say mirror. Now for the options, you notice this is red. I didn't select anything, nothing's happening yet. This says part mirror. Well, if you look up here, I don't really have a part yet. All I have is a sketch. So I have to change this option to feature mirror. And then I can highlight all of that. Just click and drag. I can highlight all that stuff. And it says, okay, I'm going to mirror that feature. And right here says, where do you want to mirror it? So I'm going to click on this line like it's a mirror. And what it does is it takes everything on this side and mirrors it to that side. So now I have the profile shape of my wheel. Now I'm going to turn this just a teeny bit this way so you can see when I revolve it. So now I'm going to revolve. And the same thing with this. It's red because this is just a sketch. This is not a solid yet. Just a sketch. So I have to click over here on surface. And it says edges and sketch curves to revolve. So I'm going to highlight all of it. So it puts it all there. If I accidentally click on too many things, I can delete one by, I can, I can subtract it from clicking on here to delete it. And I click here to say, here's my revolve axis. When I click there, it takes that shape I created and it spins it all the way around that. Now I have my skateboard wheel. So anytime you have a symmetrical or a circular object, you can use mirror tool or you can use the revolve tool.